Good evening everyone and welcome to yet another episode of MCI TV. I'm your girl Michelle the Fierce Bobby Bobby and I'm here with Miss T, the most amazing lady that I have just met and I'm so so excited to learn a bit more from her. So today we brought the couch out and instead of them coming to us, we went to them. So how are you Miss T? I'm good thanks and you. I'm amazing. So we just finished your tea party and um, I, I learned quite a, a lot from who you are and your journey. And um, how about you tell the listeners a little bit about yourself? Okay, so Miss T is the second born of two. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Tebo my full name. And I am just a woman called by God. And the way that he has called me is a very unique way. Uh, I say unique because he has called me according to my personality, which is like, as you can see, loving, yes. dressing up. Yes. <laughs> so I'm not your typical pastor, as I may say. I'm not your typical ministry person. I am called to show people that God is cool. And oh, it's not boring. Yeah. 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 I got the exact same vibe today because normally we have this stereotype of God, of of, of church, of praying, mm -hmm. you know, and I got the, the exact same vibe. So would you say that being a woman and being in this industry has been challenging? Yes, it is very much challenging because it, ministry has been for years been known as a field for men. Yeah. So when you come into ministry as a woman, you can imagine how tough that is mm. entering into the so-called men field. Mm. Mm. What would be one of the biggest barriers that you have faced in this industry? Well, I would say being in ministry and being young in ministry. Ish. Yeah. There's a lot of trying to prove yourself that people want you to go through people are not always convinced that you are called mm. or they're not always convinced of the message that you bring what do you know you're still young yeah or what are you going to tell me mm. and having a life a young person's life and having been done the mistakes that i've gone through yeah and having lived a life as a normal teenager some people will know your past and they'll ask you ministry mm. how judgments yeah those two things don't go hand in hand mm. so i would say it th those are some of the challenges it is uh, that i have met and it, it has been challenging and also financially mm. you know because ministry is deemed to be a poor field yeah you're not supposed to make money mm. You're not supposed to be appreciated financially or materialistic mm. way. Mm. You are always supposed to be the, it is fine, donations type of person. Yeah. So I think, as I was saying when we opened that, I'm called into ministry in a different way, that God has been showing me the difference. Hence, I say I'm Misty building a brand in ministry mm. to show that, it doesn't mean because I'm in ministry, I have to take it lightly or mm. I, I, I shouldn't put effort in it or that ministry should limit me to where I want to be. So I'm showing young people and old people, our God means business. Yeah. And the word of God also tells us that through your speaking, you will gain money. Mm that which you do the speaking will feed you mm. and those are some of the scriptures that people don't know or don't want to accustom themselves to because previous ministers have made no man barrera yeah and they'll preach that yes but then how do i get the yeah the resources the time i take to prepare mm. my family when i get home mm. so i'm here to show people 
what I think, not even think, what I believe God has been teaching me through this journey. That yes, we in ministry. Mm -hmm. Yes, our God provides for us. Mm -hmm. But I'm taking myself seriously and I'm building a brand. So you said quite a lot. We actually mentioned Miss, Miss T in, in, in all aspects. And um, we've also seen that you post quite a lot about camps mm -hmm. that you do for, for women out there. Um, can you tell me a little bit about, about these camps and what you, you, you aim to, to achieve? Just a little surface of, of what they are. Okay, so actually this is a first camp that I'll be hosting of this nature. And it is the first under my personal ministry called TM Mapani Ministries. Mm -hmm. So this camp, the aim of the camp is to show women different sides of ministry. Is to show women that whatever you have been through should not limit you, should not hold you back. Yes. So this camp is aimed at showing women that women in ministry are also human beings mm. on this earth that the same things that you go through we also go through them even sometimes i feel we go through them more than normal people yeah. because god says that i want to show you comfort mm. and with the same comfort i'm comforting you with i want you to go out and comfort others so you mm. can imagine what women in ministry or, or, or people in ministries as a whole go through mm -hmm. because I can't stand there and tell Michelle about something I don't know. Yeah. I always tell people that I can't take you, I have never been. Wow. So this camp is built on everything I've been through. Everything. Mm -hmm. Well, except the marriage part. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll get there. You know. And you'll be prepared. It's something that I long for. Yeah. As like any other woman mm. so I'm um, and I've never been divorced but I've lived in a home where my family have been divorced mm. so each and every element that will be discussed at this woman's camp is built around my life and the people who will be there the people who helped me in every obstacle that I've been facing and now God is saying, with the same tools you were built with, mm. use the same tools to build a woman. Yeah. Normally people say that you cannot pour out of an empty glass. Yes. And you sound like you have been filled. And you are overflowing. Overflowing. <laughs> and you are overflowing onto other women yeah. to inspire, to liberate, which is amazing because we need that. Yes. We need that. So, I'm just going to ask you a fun question. Oh, okay. Who are you wearing? Oh, this is a <laughs> lovely dress. <laughs> well, I'm wearing Exito uh -huh. Fashion House. Mm -hmm. It is an online fashion boutique. Yes. Online store. Mm -hmm. But it also has a walk-in store in Pretoria. Yeah. So yes, I'm, I'm wearing this lovely dress. Give it thanks beautiful. to Exito. And shout Very out nice. to Exito Fashion House yes. because I myself am wearing Exito as well. We'd like to thank you very much for yes. doing this wonder. Right. So one last question, what inspires you? Who? Hey, well, I've, I've started a counseling class, ne? and I, I, well, a counseling course. And on Friday, we were asked the same question. And I told them, well, when I think about things that inspire me, I think about things that make me want to get out of bed. And one thing, I don't even think it's one, but I'll try to think of one thing, mm -hmm. is making sure that I live my life to the fullest. That when I meet my father one day, mm -hmm. he will say, well done, good and faithful servant. So what inspires me is, living out the purpose, making sure that I live out my purpose to the fullest, whatever the purpose is, because at 
every day it brings in a new thing it brings in a new face but one thing that ex- inspires me is making sure that i mean god will just say well done good and faithful and you light up when you say that yeah it yeah. shows <laughs> it's evident yes mm-hmm. i'm really honored to have met this amazing young lady right here because she is very young trust yeah. me and the things that she has faced and the things that she has overcome and the fact that she is willing to tell her story in order to liberate to save others is absolutely amazing i know that oprah winfrey is always encouraging that you should tell your story because nobody can tell it like you can so this is exactly what she is doing and this is exactly what we need as as women even as as young women and i feel that i am inspired by her and many other women many other powerful women who are willing to do the same so thank you mrs t for being on the couch with us today say bye thank you very much for having me mci tv thank you very much michelle for being you, I'm also inspired by you and I also thank God for your life and for the opportunity to have met you. So everybody, thank you very much. Thank this you. is Miss T and yeah, thanks. So we just had Mrs. T and this is my word from you. You know what? God always has a plan and God can never be overtaken. This is not a highway where you can overtake God. If he has a plan with you, he will make sure that it comes across, that that it, it manifests. No matter what you have planned for yourself, God's plan always prevails. Yes. This is Michelle. Ciao. Good. <laughs>